Hello everyone, welcome to today's video where I'll be showing you how to repair an STL file to make it 3D printable. Let's get started. First, we'll open a model that looks nice and very detailed. We'll enable flat shading and edges to better see its geometry. Then, we'll click on the Mesh tab and run the Mesh Degenerations tool to identify any issues with the mesh. In this case, we can see that our mesh has degenerate faces and small self-intersections. To better visualize these issues, we'll select the problematic areas, and expand the selection several times. To fix these issues, we have several options. The easiest way is to use the offset tool with a zero offset distance. This tool regenerates the mesh based on the original one, ensuring that the new mesh is without self-intersections, degenerate faces, spikes, and other issues. The offset tool builds a voxel map based on the mesh geometry, and each voxel has a value showing the distance from that voxel to the original mesh. It then generates a new mesh based on the built voxel map and specified offset distances. If the offset distance is zero, the mesh generated from voxels theoretically exactly matches the original one. However, the offset tool has limitations for the minimum voxel size, and the generated mesh may not have all the details of the original model. The smaller the voxel size, the smaller the triangles and the better the digitalization of the reconstructed mesh but the processing time is also bigger. But for most 3D printing purposes, as long as voxels are smaller than the printer resolution, you are completely fine with this method. If you need to preserve the small details of your model, we can use another method. Let's reopen the original model, and enable flat shading and edges again. The idea is cut out the problematic areas of the mesh and then fill appeared holes on the model. As you can see, there are big triangles on the bottom, and if we cut them, then relatively a big portion of the model will be removed, which is not desirable in our case. Let's remesh the model first to make the triangles more equal and balanced. Then we can smooth the mesh to make it look even better. As you can see I'm using the default parameters since they work well in many cases. After that, we can use the Mesh Degenerations tool to identify any degenerate faces and self-intersections. Then we select self-intersecting faces and expand the selection a few times to select the surrounding area. We can then subdivide selected triangles, which will give us smaller polygons in areas of self-intersection. We can select the self-intersecting faces again and expand the selection a few times. This gives us self-intersecting faces selected with a small surrounding area. Now we delete the selected faces to eliminate self-intersections. However, we must be careful since cutting holes may result in isolated triangles or small components disconnected from the rest of the model. To fix this, we can use the components tool to delete all the small pieces except the biggest component. Finally, we need to fill the holes and check the mesh again. And voila! Our model is now 3D printable. As you can see, this method is a combination of several different tools, for different issues, it may require slightly different steps, so don't be afraid to experiment and find out what works best for your model. Alternatively, you can use the offset tool and not worry about the details. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in our next video.